everybody, I'm the Lazy Kiwi and welcome back to another Planet Zoo episode. So last time I mentioned that I wanted to start with making a little meerkat habitat and that's exactly what we're making in this episode and I really do like how this turned out. It's something different. I've never made a habitat like this before in my life and I'm really really happy with how it turned out. So we're basically starting off with one of the pathways I think the first pathway to the left as you come into the zoo and this is going to be our Africa section so for the first Africa animal I decided to do the meerkats because they're small they're cute and they're not like a very large animal I didn't want to put like lions or something at the entrance of the zoo I just don't think that would be a very good flow of guests if that makes any sense at all but yeah I really wanted to do an overpass habitat and as you know that probably works best with animals like lions for example but as I just said I was not about to put lions at the entrance of the zoo <laughs> so we have meerkats instead and they do have a little bit of an overpass section and I love it I really do like how it turned out and as you can tell this habitat is pretty large it's a very big habitat and I do make it a lot smaller. I think I cut that part out though, so it's gonna be like this big at the first half of the video, and then suddenly it's just gonna be a lot smaller. Um, I don't think it's that much smaller, it's just much smaller than it is now. It's still at the end of this video a very large habitat, considering it's only for meerkats, and meerkats are very, very small if you don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I decided to basically make, um, I know meerkats can't like climb stuff or anything, but I decided to make this enclosure basically closed off completely. So the top of it, everything is basically closed. Almost, I could have made this an aviary if I wanted to as well. But yeah, no, it's for the meerkats. And I think if I was a meerkat, I would have been so happy. I would have been so happy to live in this habitat, you know? <laughs> I might be very confused as to what meerkats like, but if I was a meerkat, I would have been happy. And yeah, I know that meerkats usually live in like desert type of worlds, but I don't think for this zoo at least I'm going to go for the very realistic, oh, the animals need to live in this type of climate, you know, if that makes any sense, because I feel like this is a sandbox zoo, I'm not really looking for what the animals need and what are like what's the best for them i know that sounds very ethically wrong like that sounds horrible but that's the way i want to do it for this zoo because i just feel like it's it makes a lot of sense for my first zoo not to feel like i'm basically making myself work too hard with it because this is my first ever time playing planet zoo for youtube and i really don't want it to feel like I'm working too hard with it because yeah <laughs> usually when I make zoos they don't look like this I know this is only my third habitat for this zoo but this is the best zoo I've made ever probably <laughs> and I'm not saying my other zoos were very bad it just wasn't this good so yeah I am also going to do a little bit of a walkthrough at the end of the video so don't worry if you don't see everything very clearly in this part of the video I will absolutely give you guys a tour at the end so that we can see everything up close and personal with the little meerkats but yeah I'm really looking forward to doing the other areas of the zoo as well I think the way that I'm going to do it is instead of continuing on with the Africa section now which probably would make a lot of sense but I think for me instead of going on with the Africa section immediately I'm going to do the entrance habitats to each of the other sections of the zoo so if you didn't watch my last videos I made like the entrance plaza and there are five pathways that extends off of the entrance area and I want all five of those areas to be a different theme for the zoo so this area this is the first one for the Africa section then we're gonna have one for maybe Asia one for South America or just America because we do have quite a few different things for America animals 
and yeah india and stuff like that i don't know if we're gonna have every single type of area in this zoo but i know we're gonna have five so if you guys have any suggestions or any areas that you would like to see next or that you would like to see in this zoo in general let me know what you guys think and what areas would be your favorite so let's say you love I don't know Asia sections then comment down below I would like to see an Asia section and honestly I'm gonna do an Asia section so yeah but I do have to say I'm quite sad about the fact that the hitboxes for the animals are a lot bigger than the animals themselves so I had to make this little walkthrough thingy that I'm going to make for the overpass a lot bigger than I originally wanted to make it it was gonna be this small but of course it did not work the first time because apparently it's too small for these tiny little animals to walk through so I had to make it a little bit bigger and that does mean it's a little bit harder to see them once they run over because meerkats are extremely extremely small animals so the fact that I had to make this overpass so large really did mess a little bit with how well you can see them running over it but I mean you can still see them from the right angles and it's very very cute to see them running over and stuff again you will see that definitely by the end of this video when i do the walkthrough and yeah i'm really happy with how easy this was i absolutely expected this to be a lot harder than it actually was because I see other people do this and I'm like that looks very difficult but it actually wasn't that hard maybe it's just because it's meerkats and they're so small so I didn't have to work that hard to make this because it is really a small thing to do so maybe I'll do another overpass in the future and then I'm gonna be shocked at how difficult it actually is <laughs> but yeah I'm very very happy with this overpass let me know what you guys think about it and let me know if you guys have ever made an overpass yourselves because I'm very curious about that this is the first time that I've ever made an overpass in my life and I'm very happy with how it turned out I'm also happy that I decided to do it for the mirror cats because I think it would have been a lot harder if it wasn't for them for the first time but yeah let me talk a bit about the habitat itself there are two sections obviously the one that's the main section is this part because it has the ground it has the feeding area it has a lot of spaces for them to run around and play around and basically dig into the ground and then the other area is more like the the relaxed area where they can go to sleep or just not be disturbed that much by the guests because the viewing opportunities on that, that side are a lot smaller and yeah so the guests are not going to be able to disturb the meerkats this much on this side than they would be on the other side and this is probably where you're going to be able to tell that the habitat is a lot smaller at this point because i just feel like it it works a lot better if it's this small because you're going to be able to see the meerkats a lot more and it just makes a lot of sense to me that way if it's a lot smaller because i mean they're meerkats they definitely do not need that much space so i i definitely did not give them like a ginormous habitat but again considering this is meerkats it's a very very large habitat i did also put a lot of information thingies around again because i decided to make my own billboards for the meerkats as well again i really do enjoy making the billboards let me know if you guys ever make billboards yourselves for your habitats and if you enjoy making them or if you find it tedious and like a long process and stuff because me personally i love to do it i think it's so much fun but i might be biased because i really do like to be creative with things like that but this is also again the first zoo that I've ever decided to make my own billboards for and I don't regret it at all it's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be but yeah this is also the area that I was talking about where the meerkats are going to have a lot more privacy and I had a lot of fun making this area because I don't normally make like as I don't know how to call it like concrete I, I think the plastery type areas I don't usually in, like make the whole entire floor plaster when I do habitats like this but this is it was a lot of fun to do it that way and I do think I'm gonna do it again 
And the meerkats can climb over these little rocks for everybody who are wondering. So everything is accessible to them. They can run around everywhere. And I think there are about 24, 25 meerkats in this habitat. I might add 30. Not 30 more, just 30 meerkats, because I think that's the maximum that you can have. I am playing in sandbox, so it doesn't really matter what I do, like how many I add in, but I think for my sake and the way that I feel about it, I might only add 30, but I might add more if you cannot really see them, but I'm quite happy with the way that it is now, because on the other side you see them very, very frequently, so I don't know if I want to add any more in at all. But I also added a lot of bedding on this side. I know that they can use the little burrow thing as a way to go to sleep and stuff. But I just wanted to add this area as a little bit of more privacy so that they can just come over here, drink their water, sleep on the nice hay bale type, type stuffies. And it's just a nice time for them overall. <laughs> But yeah, I, I had a lot of fun creating this habitat. I honestly did. And I don't know if I'm gonna make a lot of indoor habitats. I might. I might make a few more where it's a lot more closed off towards the guests so that the animals have a lot of time and space to themselves. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that because I would like to have all of the animals be as happy as they possibly can be regardless of the fact that some of the habitats may be a lot smaller than they should be. I do think the flamingo habitat for example is a lot smaller than it's supposed to be but I really do like how that one turned out. Oh and I completely forgot I already recorded the outro to this video so the walkthrough part of this video and I completely forgot to show you guys the cranes that I added into the flamingo habitat because I did add two cranes into that habitat if you guys didn't watch the last episode and I did not show them in that episode and I said I was gonna show them in this episode but I completely forgot about that so hopefully I remember in the next episode to do that these videos do take a lot longer than my sims videos to record so if I do take a while to upload these like maybe once a week only it's because they take me a lot more time to make than my sims videos do but i do feel like it's worth it i really enjoy making these videos and they don't do too bad on my channel so i really enjoyed making these videos for you guys and I really do like that you guys enjoy them as well. But yeah, I'm going to leave you guys for the next two minutes. And you guys can just enjoy the speed build with a little bit of music. And I will see you guys at the end of this video for the walkthrough as well. Okay, so I am just going to give you guys a little bit of a live walkthrough through the zoo. We're starting at the entrance area and I think I'm gonna make myself slightly taller than everybody else just so that we can see over their heads. But we come inside and we obviously have the flamingo habitat and then when we turn this way it says welcome to Africa because this is going to be my Africa section where we made the meerkats and I obviously did a few things off camera such as just cleaning up this entryway with trees and little fences and stuff and we also have cute little elephants like 
statue centerpiece I would say now I'm going to play for this part because I'm hoping that we're gonna see some meerkats coming over the overpass over here yeah there we go there is one running right now they are very very small so they might be pretty hard to see sometimes but if you look you're definitely going to be able to see them and I think it's so cute look at that look at the little thing running I think it's adorable when they run over like that yeah yeah, that is my overpass but as you can see we have a lot of trees in the back over there those are definitely not gonna stay there they're just there for now so that we just have the space filled up a little bit oh but on this side we also have a little bit of meerkat fun facts that I just made I make these billboards and I think it's so much fun to make them but we also have this viewing over here which I think is a lot of fun and you can basically see the meerkats right up in your face like if we go down a bit this is the P view so this is how they see them and it's really really close up we can also see a few of them in the back over there which is a lot of fun I really do like this habitat let me know what you guys think about it of course it's a bit hard sometimes with all of these pee pads in the way but we can go inside because it's our zoo. We can literally do whatever we want. So if you run around inside here, we can see the whole habitat and all of the meerkats inside of it. Sorry if it's a laggy sometimes. Um, Planet Zoo does take a lot from my PC, but at least I can record this for you guys, so I'm more than happy to do that. But yeah, so we can run inside of the habitat, and I absolutely love that we can do this because we can see them up close. Running back outside, we also have this view and this is basically where most of the information is going to be. I also made this little billboard as well as this little billboard over here just for some more facts and I really think it's so cute. We do have them on both sides as well and we have another viewing over here as well. This one has a pretty skylight and I just really like the way that these look and yeah let me know what you guys think about this this is only the one part of the habitat of course what do you call this thing a walk over a, I, I cannot remember the word for it but if you come this way we kind of have a more closed off area where I'm presuming they're going to come to sleep most of the times but this is again very eye level you can like look right into their beady little eyes and be happy that you're here I guess I <laughs> we can also see them drinking here as well it looks a little bit strange but I'm happy with how it looks because the ugly little thing isn't that ugly with the stones around it <laughs> and this is also their only source of water so I'm happy that I put it on this side because it gives them more reason to come over this way we can also again come in here if we wanted to and actually run through this I've done it once before and I, I kind of got stuck on the roof on the other side <laughs> But we can do it regardless. We can also see them running through, which is a lot of fun. So here we are. Now we're on top of this. <laughs> but yeah, I really do like this habitat. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me show you guys how it looks like from above. So this is basically the overview of the zoo at this point. It is really growing a lot. I think what I'm going to do instead of continuing on with the Africa section is actually continue on with the entrances of all of the others. So if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see next for another entrance to a new area, let me know. And yeah, we will get right on that. I think I'm going to actually go in order. So I think the next one we're going to do is right over here and I don't know what area I want this to be just yet but I'm really looking forward to it and yeah this is the habitat from above obviously it's quite a large habitat considering that it's only meerkats but I do think I have about 25 26 meerkats in this one habitat so it's quite a lot of meerkats so I think the size is justified by the amount of meerkats that we have and I just really really like how it looks but yeah guys thank you all so so much for watching if you guys did enjoy this video please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel and I will definitely see you all in another video goodbye everybody